Today I'm sitting down with retired Navy commander, Dr. Mark Russell, Navy psychologist. He is the spinal story and the moral conscience of our upcoming film. You know, I was sharing with my co-director this morning that I had said out loud, this is going to be a movie that's going to have three stories, three weaving stories. And I had no idea who the three of you would be. I really didn't until, you know, uh, we just knew that it would be you and Charles because of your work together. And then Stephen came in, in his work peripherally with, with the two of you. You know, one of the greatest compliments we've gotten on the rough cut so far is that you're really cheering for these people after, after you go through the story. You want to jump on whatever bandwagon they're on. I would love to know, you know, what you would love to see personally come out of our cinematic work of telling your story. Well, I'm going to be so bold of, of also speaking for Charles and Steve, too. I think the three of us, because we've talked about this and that the overriding uh, motivation for us, what we like to see come out of this film is that it really brings an awareness of what are the problems with mental health care. I think a lot of people kind of have a general idea, but this gets into a few more specifics as well as what can specifically be done to remedy it or transform mental health care starting with the military because it's our collective belief that the military ought to become the lead agent in trying to eradicate mental health stigma and to treat mental health on par with physical health mm -hmm. so if the military so goes the military so will go the rest of society so if if that's something that comes out in the film and that, and that people become uh, aware and are also motivated to uh, uh, contact their decision makers, members of Congress or the media, and try to make a movement to put mental health on equal footing with physical health and to eradicate stigma, which I truly believe is a civil right issue that is past time. Mm -hmm. that the way to do that is through uh, documentaries like as yours. Thank you. And I want you to know that it, and it wasn't easy for us to cull this feeling and this part of the story from each one of you. We were blown away by the fact that you all love the military, love the military experience, respect your military experiences. And so it's not a blameful film. It's, it's, it's an honoring and it's an empowering film to your point about we empower you military to step up into this civil rights frontier of mental health, which is so upon us right now because of a pandemic. The, the, the time is so right for, for that challenge, that empowerment, that enlistment, if you will, of the military to be the world leaders in mental health, which requires play, having them place it on parity with, with physical health. Just, no more yeah. nonsense. Yeah, I, I, I love the way you 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 uh, outline that, and I would say the military has always held a place in society as being kind of the vanguard to correct other social injustices. So when it comes to racial integration of the military, you know, again, the military didn't do that. Uh, usually, they'd be done kicking and screaming, but but when they given the orders to <laughs> integrate the races, they did so. And I, of course, there's still racial problems, but yet, you know, that's a big, big step. And it served as a working model for the rest of society. Same with gender equality. Uh, and, and most recently with LGBTQ members of the military being able to serve openly now and be treated on par as as their uh, uh, whatever, heterosexual um, uh, counterparts. Yeah. So the, the military is a social microcosm. And if we can put the same emphasis on correcting the injustice when it comes to mental health and the military being the leader of that with all those alpha males and females that, you know, that are associated with the military, then I think we're in a really good place to really start transforming how mental health is viewed uh, in the broader society. Agreed. Absolutely agreed. And I've learned that from you. So thank you. 
always explain to people when I speak to them, I probably have more blood on my hands than I have in my body. Please go to our website, strangerathome.org. Sign up with us. We'll see you on the next moment.